It is time now for Night Court on the docket tonight. A lawsuit literally straight out of a Christmas story. A family suing a BB gun company over their son's eye injury. But first, the Virginia Supreme Court overturning a ruling after a homeowners association successfully sued a family after what they said were year-round Christmas lights left up on their house. So let's bring in tonight's Legal Eagles. Criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi and Washington Times legal affairs reporter Alex Sawyer. Welcome back to you two. Hey, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> okay, so in the first story, this the Virginia Supreme Court decided this and has now sent it back down to the lower courts to straighten it all out. But basically, we're talking about a family that had some kind of lights or decorations up. They said 300 days out of the year. Okay, let's go to Exhibit A. The homeowner guidelines say this. Uh, the intention of these guidelines is to promote harmony in the community, to avoid discourteous and unsafe conditions affecting property values, and to avoid religious issues in the community. So, Alex, what's the problem? So the court said that the problem was these seasonal guidelines weren't properly incorporated into the HOA's uh, official bylaw, by bylaws. And so part of the problem was that you had these bylaws which said, um, you know, certain lights couldn't be put on a lot. It didn't dictate the wattage or location. So one of the arguments was that these lights were actually on the door, not necessarily the land. Um, it got really in the weeds. But, you know, it's important that these bylaws are very um, clear for so property owners are able to know mm -hmm. what they can and cannot do on their land and also to make sure they're not used in a discriminatory way to say bully one family and not another. We've seen lawsuits across the country over this, especially with um, some sort of uh, religious displays mm -hmm. during the Christmas season, nativity scenes, for example. Yeah, and uh, this is something that happens all the time. When we brought this case up today, there was a lot of reaction within the meeting about people who do not love it when folks leave up their lights past New Year's, past Valentine's Day, and it keeps going. This family, it was almost all the time, but they said they were celebrating other holidays um, because of the Sikh religion, uh, Hindu, and others, and it was very important to them. So the Virginia um, the Supreme Court decision said, we find that the seasonal guidelines, the basis of the fines imposed against the Sanini family, exceed the scope of the restricted covenants and are not reasonably related to any of them. Bob, what say you to Exhibit B? I say this is the legal definition of uh, hokey pokey and turn yourself around. <laughs> these guidelines were very clear as to what they could do. These people were gaming the system. Oh, multiple religions, keeping it on 24-7, past the time period that they want these lights off. This association has a right to have certain guidelines. They weren't trying to discriminate. Plus, these people had an opportunity to ask for additional time to put lights up on. And on top of that, they never even once were went to one hearing they never applied for an application. They're just trying to cause a problem here, yeah. and they're one of the only ones in the entire group that decided to do it. So I think the Supreme Court's ruling was inappropriate. Okay, we want to get to the second case, and it reminds us of this famous movie and this clip. You'll hear it a lot this time of year. Take a look. No, no, I want an official red under cover. Do you want to get rid of my leg rifle? You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Poor Ralphie, I love that movie, but we got to be a little bit pithy here because I want to make sure we get to this case. Uh, unfortunately, in this case, it was a 17-year-old kid. He was at a bonfire. Somebody else brought the BB gun, and he actually lost the sight in his eye because of the gun firing. Now, Exhibit C, um, in the lawsuit in 2018, the family says the airsoft gun used at the bonfire malfunctioned and misfired into the guy's eye. Uh, what do you say to that, uh, Alex? Yeah, um, the interesting thing, I was doing some research about this company, and they've actually had to settle lawsuits in the past. One was due to uh, some of their labeling issues, and the other was a similar case in 99 with a boy who uh, was shot and had suffered brain damage, and he subsequently actually passed away. And so they've had to settle in the past due to defects, and um, this is something that the boy is going to have to argue that there was some sort of either design defect or some error in the manufacturing that caused the gun to jam, and then therefore now he has lost sight in his eye. Well, and we know that the manufacturer, apparently back in 2001, the U.S. Product Safety Commission had sued them and wanted 7.5 million air guns pulled from the markets. That didn't happen. They have a settlement, but the Daisy uh, Gun Company was supposed to spend about $1.5 million on publicity and explaining the dangers of uh, the BB gun world, and yet these accidents continue to happen. A accidents, malfunctions. Bob, I don't know. What say you? 
Well, yeah, I mean, they're unsafe, and that suit dealt with making better warnings. But in this particular case, there's a big factual dispute because the gun manufacturer says there's no evidence that there was a manufacturing or design defect. Rather, the company argues when a bunch of teenagers are hanging around a bonfire, drinking allegedly here, and smoking weed, and having a BB gun, that that's the reason that this thing occurred. So if it's not a manufacturing defect, that's all on the people that had the weapon. You know, we're always going after these gun manufacturers. Every time somebody gets injured, guns can create danger. Cars can create danger. That doesn't give you the right to sue just because you did something negligently. All right, Bob and Alex, you have made your arguments. We'll see what the folks out there in the Twitterverse think. Uh, you can use the hashtag Night Court to at Shannon Bremer at Fox News Night. Let us know. Bob and Alex, Merry Christmas to you both. Good to see you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.